All right, Gemini, here we go. This is Soulmate Energy's update for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. It's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Tarot, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Now, the reason I'm pulling this reading today, on um, what was going to be my day off, you know, it's really strange. I never do that. Anyway, well, whatever. Here we are. It's important that I pull this, because tomorrow I'm planning, and I put planning in air quotes. It's up to the energy. I'm planning tomorrow to do an all signs reading on Mars moving into your sign, Gemini. And what we've got with Gemini, the energy that I get for it is somebody who's stuck in something, right? Somebody, I always get this. It's what it's sending me. If that's not your situation, then you got to go find someone else to read your Gemini reading, I guess. I don't know. Um, I get somebody who's stuck in something. They're trapped. They're very manipulated by the energies around them, but they're very unhappy. Mars is about to hit Gemini. Big time. And and I wanted to do a special reading for you because it's your sign. And Mars in, in your sign is, is something spectacular here. It's causing some action to happen. Even if your person, even if, if you're the Gemini and your person is some other sign, it doesn't matter. Okay? Mars in Gemini, it, it's, it's fueling up your soulmate connection. Can we phrase it that way? Whoever the Gemini is here, it doesn't matter. Here's my pre-shuffle. I'll show you what I mean. I got, uh, as the universe gave me the soulmate cycle from the angle of Gemini with all affecting energies, and I'm including, just for you, I'm including Mars in Gemini, all right? A little bit of predictive on the universe's part, but we'll see what happens in the all signs reading tomorrow for everyone. Ten swords crossed by two swords. Like that. That's, uh, again, what's been blocked. Something's been blocked. An ending has been blocked on their side. King of Wands crossed by the Queen of Wands. It's a, it's a very controlling relationship. Your person's very... These two in a relationship, very controlling, very fake, very phony. It's all on paper. It's all for tradition. It's all for whatever. It's all to please other people. It's all looks, right? Yep. Done. The World Card. The World Card is bookending the Ten of Swords. This is the most powerful card I can pull. This card right here, a new cycle, old cycle ends, new cycle begins, means we've gotten past judgment. This world card book ending the Ten of Swords means the block on this ending is done. And I kind of picked up on this, I think, in your weekly read, in the weekly reading this week in your section. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But this is what's going on. This is going to be a very interesting reading from someone who's usually quite trapped. I think somebody here, I'll just give it to you straight. As I read the energy, somebody here... He has figured something out or found something out about the person they're with or the people around them, okay? And they're in a process of reassessment now. They're starting to realize, again, this energy of August is all about liberation, right? It's all about freeing ourselves from the wrong road we've been going down and getting back on the main course of our soul's true, true purpose. So somebody here is looking at things, reassessing. Now, whether they're looking at it from a pessimistic angle or an optimistic angle, I can't tell you yet. Let's see. Let's shuffle the deck here. This first card out is before the cut, Gemini. It's why the fuck are we here? So why the fuck are we here? Yeah, here it is. It's the Five of Swords. Somebody's been short-sighted. I say been. Well, I have to take the, the pre-shuffle into consideration. I just showed you a world book ending a block ten of swords. That means it's done. And, it, and the can Queen of Wands proves how terrible it is on their side. Hell, that's not even a married couple. I, you know, using that as an example, the King and Queen of Wands isn't even a married couple I want to hang out with. Far too superficial for me. You know, they're they're the type of couple. If you walked up to them within five minutes of knowing them, you'd know what everything they own costs. They can't just show you their car. Oh, they're so excited to show you their car, but they also got to tell you what they paid for it, so that you know. Just in case you don't know, that's a that's a two hundred thousand dollar car. Just in case you don't know, who gives a fuck? <laughs> but they do. They give a fuck because they care what other people think, all that kind of stuff. But that's not even your situation per se. may not be. It's just an example. Okay, and Queen of Wands, it, it's a phony relationship. It's fake. And it, it tends to be one that's very controlling. All right? So somebody here has been short-sighted. Somebody here, as this backs up the energy I got as I was shuffling, where I told you somebody's reassessing. Somebody's found something out, figured something out, whatever. And they're seeing the energies around them, whether it's a marriage or a family or just within themselves how they've been living. They're seeing those energies around them in a new light right here. And I got the Eight of Swords after that. 
Yeah. Somebody, this is trapped. Somebody's been trapped. Trapped by fear. Trapped by obligation. Trapped by expectations. That's why we're here. We saw from the pre-shuffle that that's about to come to an end. Again, putting an end to something where an ending has been blocked. All right, let's see where we go here. Because the Eight of Swords, they can get out of. Somebody's going to figure something out, although I am picking up a little bit of the usual pessimism here. But we'll see. Let's shuffle the deck one last time. Give me the Soulmate Cycle from the Angle of Gemini universe with all affecting energies, including a little bit of predicting about what happens when Mars goes into Gemini, which I think officially happens on Saturday. I think. Somewhere around there. All right. All right, let's see where we go. But the energy's already kind of here. That's why I'm going to pull it tomorrow. Mars is a strong ship, right? Not much for the universe to predict a couple of days before it. Overall energy here is the Page of Cups. This is, this is starting over with new love. It's starting over, right? I said it. I mentioned it in the reading the other day. I got it again. I don't, I don't know whose reading I mentioned it in. It might have been Pisces. Uh, I got to John Lennon's Feels Like Starting Over ringing in my head. It's right there. What's crossing this? Six of Wands. Somebody, I think, I think somebody's finally breaking free here. That's what I think. It doesn't surprise me in August. You've seen my readings. I think I don't think this is going to be a sugar coaty kind of, you know, fairy fair fairy tale as Libra's reading was. I think your person's got some problems they're trying to get away from. And certainly something that's got a lot of control over them and manipulates them. But at the very least, I see it's up, it is up to their free will. But there's a transformation happening within your person's heart. This is green. It's the heart chakra. Okay? Uh, this is good. This is good right here. You know, a king would have been optimistic. Right here's the energy around your connection. Right here's how your person's behaving in the 3D. Okay? Right here's their soul. We'll take a look at it. Right here's the hidden message. Message from the universe. I'll tell you what the fickle old gal sh sa says and shares. It's red with the uh, energy of the connection, and right here's the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. And for those of you wondering from watching my three-card reading earlier, yes, the dizziness has, has passed, uh, passed on, moved away. So I am good. But I did want to point out, I did want to give you guys a, an energy weather update earlier for sure. I hope everybody checks that out because uh, you don't want the universe taking over on something you need to be doing yourself. Ooh, that's not good. Okay. I will clarify everything, throw some universe cards. If I didn't say that, I can't predict free will, blah, blah, blah. Let's go. What's the energy around your connection right now? First card out after Page of Cups. Oh, shit. The video froze. See that? The video froze. I even told you that on the video. I, so I had to pick the cards back up just about to throw this card. That's how powerful the energy is today. All right? That's why that three card is important that I did earlier. This is some powerful shit here. Listen, I think your person might break away from this. Oh, there's a snowball's chance in hell anyway. What's the energy around the connection if my fucking video will keep running this time? Eight of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, that's someone. Why, why do I say yeah? What did I just say? Rewind. Aside from me swearing at my camera. But what, what did I just say? I said, I actually think there's a snowball's chance in hell. Your person breaks free. And I get the Eight of Pentacles right here. They are actually behind the scenes working toward. They have realized something. Something's going on here. Whatever was blocking an ending that was keeping you two apart, that ending needed to happen with that king and queen of wands is happening. This is someone, the energy of this is someone working hard to get to the nine of pentacles. The nine of pentacles is liberation, freedom, breaking away from something. And I told you already, I said, this month, that's what it's all about. Us getting off that wrong road we've been on and the universe correcting us. You saw it in the Lion's Gate reading, you saw it in the North Node reading, and you're seeing it here. All the shit's playing out, especially this week. This is that dust settling week, right? After last week's crazy storm of lions and tigers and North Nodes, oh my. Right here, what's the, uh, well, your person behaving in the 3D? The Wheel of Fortune, yeah. This backs up what I just told you. 180 degree turn. Somebody is getting free of something. There's a snowball's chance in hell here. The universe is helping them. It's showing them things. It's making them see things. See the reality of things. See that they're not trapped. That's why that Eight of Swords came out after the cut. Eight of Swords, we feel trapped. But we're not. We can get out of it. Oh, this is a good... Gemini... Listen, if anybody doesn't like this reading, if you've been waiting on this person, if my Gemini readings have been resonating with you, this is the reading you've been motherfucking waiting for. Give me the soul. Right here. It's bookending the Eight of Pentacles. 
Give me the soul. Two of Wands. Exactly what I just told you. I mean, it's perfect. This is perfection in tarot based on the way I read, I read the energy to you. I read the energy first, then I pull the cards. The, why is this perfection? Because this is bookending this. This is someone working toward the Nine of Pentacles. Not quite there yet. Eight of Pentacles, card of the Apprentice, working toward the Nine of Pentacles to get free. This is bookending it. It's the Two of Wands. It's setting the intention. It's working toward getting free of the other wand, the wand that's no longer good and going toward the new wand. Everything's changing here. It's in progress. Everything is changing here. This is a big deal. Okay? This is a big fucking deal. The wheel is turning here. Alright? Somebody here is realizing that they're not trapped and maybe they can they can get free and start have a brand new start in love. Right? Look, they see victory in that. Six of Wands crossing that. Told you their heart chakra is open. Transformation in this person's heart. Because I don't think the king and queen of wands, the universe gave us that in the pre-shuffle. King and queen of wands are a shitty couple. Let's just, well, whether your person's married or not, let's just say it, okay? It's a shitty couple. They're phony. They're fake. Tell everybody how happy they are. They, they could be fighting one minute in the grocery store, right? Fighting, 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 fighting. Pissing at each other, right? Back and forth. And then the neighbor comes around the corner and it's, Instantly, it's all smiles. Oh, hi, how are you? Hey, yeah, nice to see you. A neighbor would be none the wiser. The neighbor would say, oh, I saw the king and queen of wands at the grocery store. They seem very happy. Really, because they was just ripping each other's throat out before they saw you. You know, before you came around the corner. It's phony shit. Somebody's breaking free of this here. What's the universe want to tell us? It's red with the eight of pentacles. Star. <laughs> Guys. I don't even know what to say. You don't even need me here. The star. This is, this is, it's here. It's happening. It's, it's all going on right now is what this says. This, this energy is here. It's on top of me. It's right here. It is the message from the universe. The universe said, I've taken the pause button off. I've hit the play button. I see it here. We got a color match here, don't we? Black on top, white on the bottom. What? Huh? 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 Yeah. Color match. So this card is red with this. These, these two energies go together. It's always red with this. So these two cards together say this shit is happening. And this shit backs up this shit. A reading should cross-check itself. Okay? It should. Like checking your math homework. And that's exactly what this does. That's why, you know, this is some shit right here. This is nice. All right. Uh, this is another one of those readings like Libra's. I don't want to clarify. But I don't think it's going to hurt it. It didn't hurt Libra's when I clarified. And I don't think it's going to hurt yours. They're a fellow air sign of yours, but you're about to get Mars. Mars is helping your connection because it's really fueling, fueling your person here. I know this isn't a card of Mars per se, but it's, it feels like that's what's fueling this, the, the wheel turning. What's the potential final outcome here? It's red with the wheel of fortune. This is interesting. The nine of wands. The end, it, it's, it's a card of persistence. Persistence wins the day. Nines are the end in tarot. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're going to see communication fall on top of this toward you. Okay? I'm going to go out on a limb that somebody's breaking free here. This is the end. This is the end of the rope. It's all this person can take. Okay? This is the end of their resistance. This is the end of them thinking that they're stuck or whatever. All The whole time they thought they were stuck, the universe had this on pause because that's what the star typically is. It's delayed until somebody gets their shit together. It's their manifestation. They had a wall up to it. I think we're going to see forward movement on top of that. Either way, I'm going to call that as communication as it sits right there in the Nine of Wands. Because that's, that's someone here where it's it, persistence wins the day energy. Okay, somebody here, this connection, your soulmate connection has persistently hammered things home, shown your person things. It's been there the whole time. I see it with the star here in the message from the universe, which is separate from the reading, but read with other cards on the table, other, other energies. Let's clarify. We're going to talk to the light seer. Let's go. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles universe. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Sometimes I'd be worried that it's going to go to shit. I'm not worried about that here. I don't, don't think... Well, I don't see a lot of speed with this, but I do see some action. Finally, somebody not stuck. Somebody tired of something. You know, for some of you, not all of you. Somebody learned something about the... If, especially, this is especially true if your person's married. Somebody saw them in a new light. Somebody figured something out that they never really noticed before. And they're not, and they're not sure they like it. 
I feel that around that nine of wands, and that's that's part of what's turning the wheel too. Why is the eight of pentacles here? Why, why, why? See, everything I just told you just got backed up. The seven of pentacles. Yeah, they saw some signs. They saw they saw the seeds seeds that were planted started to grow, and they never really noticed it while it was just seeds. But then when a little plant pops up, you go, "Oh my God, that's a garden!" Right? Somebody noticed something here. This is a card of divine timing. It is telling me also that, that, you know, all we can do within a person, you planted some seeds within this person. This connection planted some seeds within this person. Just like with seeds, we don't keep digging them up and looking at them. All we can do is just know that we did our best, you know, the, and the connection did its best, have faith in that, and move forward. Maybe this person will see the light one day that their connection is, you know, that the relationship they're in or whatever situation is keeping them stuck, because that's what I get. Uh, is no good and maybe they won't either way we focus on our own lessons they're seeing it okay with that seven of pentacles there look at that that's an escalation seven pentacles to eight pentacles the affecting energy of the room is seven pentacles they're behaving a step ahead of that in it's, it's nice what's what's on top see I'm not making this shit up it's chariot it's the chariot it's fucking charging forward toward that nine of pentacles, toward, toward getting themselves free. Coming right towards you. I told you this is going to be community. This card always ties to this. It has to. It is red with these. But it has to make sense with the energy of the connection. Why is the chariot here? Yeah, the king of pentacles. Somebody is just wanting to get... There's two energies here. Wanting to get free of what they see as stability, but also they see your connection as stability. Somebody's charging towards it. Okay, we don't have it this way, right? We don't have the chariot moving away from that. We have the chariot charging right toward what they see as stability. And this is, this is nice. This person has a very high opinion of you. You're, you're kind of, in a lot of ways, their savior, or this connection is. Because I get, when I see that king and queen of wands in the uh, 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 pre-shuffle, I know. You know, and I saw the ten of swords that we started with. That's been, it's been blocked. It's an ending of something that's been long dead that's been blocked. Because somebody keeps them trapped. There's always manipulation with the king and queen of wands. Somebody or something has kept this person trapped. But no more. Why is the wheel here? Tell me about the wheel of fortune, universe. Why, why, why? Why is the wheel of fortune here? Hmm? Why? The world crossing it. You don't even need me here. I could stop this reading right now. You don't even fucking need me. Uh, what the hell you think that means? The world was up in the pre-shuffle book ending that Ten of Swords, which means that Ten of Swords that was blocked is no longer blocked. The wheel is turning. A cycle is ending. Somebody's ending something. And I'm telling you, the resistance they've had is, is gone. The nine is the end. Okay? The end. That's why it's a persistence wins the day energy. It's like, you know, this connection, it's really taught this person something. What the fuck is on top here? This energy is strong. It's the moon. Yeah. It's all going on underneath the surface. Something came up. Something bubbled up from the depths within your person. Again, that's tied to that energy. There's a lot of secrets on their side. There's a lot of closed door sessions, if you will. Okay? Kind of a thing. What goes on behind closed doors on your person's side, I'm not sure you're 100% aware of. But either way, it's, they've seen something here. They've, they've figured something out. All right, they, and they're making some changes because of it. Why is the moon here? See? Yeah. What you don't know is this person's coming right for you. This person wants love. They want a new beginning in love. I see the Knight of Cups here. Our overall energy is the Page of Cups. I believe they show up more like a page, but, but this, is, this is an indication of what they want and what they don't have. The secret, you know, they secretly want you. They've secretly wanted you for a while, but it's been blocked. The block is coming to an end. This Nine of Wands says the same thing that the world bookend in the Ten of Swords that was blocked up in the pre-shuffle tells us. And the world crossing the Wheel of Fortune tells us the same thing. This person's coming at you in a whole new energy. Now, I'm not saying they're not dragging the devil with them. Um, the energies around them with, with the King and Queen of Wands, whatever the energy is, they don't have to be married. It doesn't matter. For a lot of you, they are. But Whatever the King and Queen of Wands represent for your person, they don't, they, there's a lot of control in that relationship. They don't let go easily. And when they do, they're usually pissy about it. You know, it's where the dirt comes out and the play it, uh, what is it, uh, fighting dirty and all that kind of stuff. Kick it, hitting below the belt, you know. We'll see. Why is the two of wands here in the soul? As if we don't know. Why? 
yeah, <clears throat> it's already what I've told you. Ace of Swords, they've realized something. Okay, um, the universe been putting signs in front of them for a while with all these world cards coming out, and the Seven of Pentacles here is proof of that. That's often signs, right? That you maybe you didn't notice before, but then you notice. Uh, this person here is, is deep in the soul, has seen whoever or whatever they're around, be it a marriage, a family, a way they've been living. They've seen something about it that they didn't notice before. And I think I could sum it up for a general reading by saying what they didn't notice before is they could just get the fuck out of it because it's shit. What's on top? Yeah, the magician. It's, it's again, a transformative energy. It's saying all the same thing. It's just repeating itself over and over again. This is very similar to that Six of Wands that's crossing the Page of Cups, this energy here. Somebody wants to change their fucking life, and for some reason, they've had an epiphany that they can do it right now because the magician gets things done. All right? I see it here. We World crossing the Wheel of Fortune. It doesn't get more powerful than that. And then the moon, all the secrets, things they didn't see before, they can now see. I don't know if they went on a dark night of the soul or not, or if they just do if they're their person or people around them just fucked up and slipped up and showed them something. Either way, they're coming your way. It's a repeating message that's always important. Why is the magician here? The world again. Look at repeating message. What did I just get done saying? The world was crossing here, crossing the wheel of fortune. The world is also prominent and dominant in our pre-shuffle, where it's bookending that ten of swords that was blocked from coming to you know from something coming to an end. Uh, this is a whole new person. These are two transformative energies. Why? It's it's a feedback loop of just saying your person now sees that they can get out of something and it looks like they come towards you. And these are some powerful fucking cards. Okay? Uh, this is some shit. The magician is directly bookending the chariot. That's powerful stuff. Uh, okay. Let's talk to the universe. The star. And this is all influenced by Mars and Gemini. I encourage you Geminis, I encourage everybody because it's an all, it'll be an all signs reading. But I encourage you Geminis in particular to pay motherfucking close attention to my re all signs reading tomorrow on Mars and Gemini. All right? I'm including that energy here and we're seeing some things. But we'll get more when I do a flyover and I'm not my hands, I'm not tying the universe's hands down to just one sign, one angle. Because you all got different angles in your chart. So your particular situation is related to more than just Gemini. It's related to everything that's in your chart. It's related. It's all tied together anyway. But it relates on a different angle from everything that's in your chart. So keep that in mind. That's why the all signs readings are really important. Because that's just a flyover of the whole thing. Anyway, watch what you want to watch. You just want to watch this reading. This will do the trick. Good enough, I guess. Uh, not for me, but if it's for you, fine. The star. Let's see where we go here with the star. Let's see where we go. What else you want to tell us? Jesus Christ. Uh, there's, there's some stars. That's a big dipper right there. Didn't I call this the star by accident in a recent reading? I don't remember whose reading that was. Anyway, all the readings are tied together. You're all, you're all in a cycle together like I tell you on the weekly readings when I pull one card for each sign. You're all together in the same room, so you should be watching everything, but... Three of Cups crossing the star here. This is somebody, it, it's here. The energy is here. Somebody very soon is charging in to open up to you. Why? What's on top? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Overall energy. Message from the universe here. Message from the universe here. Repeating message. Universe saying the same goddamn thing. They're charging in because they have, a, they have an opportunity right now that they didn't have before that's been delayed. That ending, right, has been delayed. Now it's not because of the world. We talked about it from the pre-shuffle. We saw it here, and we see it here. There's the world right there. Now they can come in. This is someone who wants a new start. Wants a whole new life. Wants a fresh start. They are coming towards you. There is free will in play. They might chicken out. I'll be honest with you. They might come toward you. For, for most of you, they are. Or they might be afraid to come toward you because a lot of time has passed, and they go toward something else for new love because it's less scary for them. I don't know. How the fuck am I supposed to predict that? But for most of you, I would say they're coming towards you because I'm pulling on the soulmate cycle. I'm pulling on you. Okay, why is the uh, Page of Cups here? Queen of Cups. Again, you don't even fucking need me here for this reading. The Queen of Cups, the most love I can pull from the deck. This person's following their intuition. He's also this is a very intuitive queen. This person's seen the light here in some way. Seeing that they don't have love, they have huge love for you. They see you as a big, big, fresh start. I've got, look, look at the love cards I've got. In the message from the universe, I've got the star, 
That's a love card. It is. In a soulmate reading. Three of cups. Right? That's emotion. Opening up. Right? That's a love card. Page of cups. Queen of cups. Knight of cups. And a page of cups over here. It's powerful. Okay? This is some powerful shit, Gemini. All right? Somebody here is, is coming towards you. The main message here is somebody here is coming towards you because they can now. And the reason they can now is because the universe has either shown it to them or they figured something out or they saw something about the energies on their side that they never noticed before. And it caused them to reassess. That's that Ace of Swords that's here, but I read it long before that came out. It's also that, uh, six of, uh, that Seven of Pentacles that was crossing here, but I read it long before it came out. Saying the same thing. It's just a repeating message. Now, let's talk about the final outcome. I said there'd be communication on that, I believe. I might get egg on my face. I don't know. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Perhaps we get nothing. Perhaps we get devil reversed in a tower. Well, wah, wah, right? I don't know. I could be wrong, right? This could be the day. It could be the day after a year and a half that Steve gets it wrong. Have I been here a year and a half? A little shy of a year and a half or a round a year. Yeah, I guess so. Something like that. All right, shuffle in the deck. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Give me the final final on this universe. Am I going to get a tower or something? Is Steve wrong? No, he's not. It's communication. It's Six of Cups is the affecting energy. It's somebody from the past returning. Somebody who never could let you go. Somebody who thought about you the whole time. Somebody who dreamed about you. Somebody who kept their love for you fairly secret. Probably because they had to on their side. Because the King and Queen of Wands energy that they live in is a controlling fucking energy on crack. Okay? That's nice. There is free will in play though. Okay? I don't want you to forget that. There is free will in play. It's minor arcana. I can't predict a free will. But all indications energetically show this person showing up and you two having a conversation. Okay? What's on top? <laughs> Queen of Swords. Again, behind this is read with this. Behind the scenes, I'll read the moon first and then I'll tell it to you on top of the Nine of Wands. Behind the scenes, there's a whole lot going on. But look at this queen. Look at what she's doing. The sword's in the sheath. She's thinking. She, doesn't she look like she's reassessing? Isn't that the word I've been using throughout this reading? Reassessing? Right. Somebody's learned something. Yeah, this, is, this is the primary energy for the vast majority of you watching. Somebody has learned something about how they've been living or who they've been living with. or noticed something that they never noticed before. And it's given them cause for thought. Hmm. Yeah. This ain't right. Mm-hmm. And this queen takes action. It's happening beneath the surface. A lot has come up. She thinking about a lot. I got an energy match here. Now, what's cool about this is it's sitting on top of this nine of wands. This is all done with the bullshit. This is all done. This, this backs up my read that this nine, nine of wands, the nine is important here. It's the end. Nines are the end in tarot. Tens are the end and dead end that lead to a new beginning. But nines are the end. It's the end of the wall. Somebody take an action here. More action, more repeating messages. I got five, five-fold repeating message here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? <laughs> it's the Fool. Two cards wanted to come out. I'll show both of them to you. It's the Fool and the Five of Wands. Okay? I don't know which order they go in. I don't know if that's a crossing energy or not. It doesn't matter. Somebody's all done arguing with themselves. I, I think it's, if as I read the energy, it's the Five of Wands there. Okay? Which is good. Because in a recent reading I pulled, I don't remember which one it was. I know it was in all signs. The Five of Wands was the energy of the connection. And it's not much keeping you two apart anymore. This queen, this Five of Wands tells me this queen's just about done thinking. She's all done. This queen, why is the Queen of Swords, or excuse me, Queen of Swords, not Queen of Wands. This Queen of Swords is all done thinking. Right? All, and, and now Freudian slip, the Queen of Wands, fine, I'll say it. Fakey McFakerman is all done being Fakey McFakerman. This is temporary energy, but it's crossed by the fool. It means that it, it, it backs it up. Again, the universe wanted to give a repeating message. The fool. Someone's taking a leap of faith towards you. They are coming in. They're all done with the bullshit. And this, this card here is funny because the Queen of Swords on top of the Nine of Wands says, I'm all done with the bullshit. All done with the, having the wall up to this. I now know what I need to do. And when I ask, why is the Queen of Swords here? I get a card that actually says the same thing. It's here because they know what to do and they're all done with the bullshit. 
because this is nonsense and it's temporary. And then this wanted to come out with it, crossing it is the fool. So someone's taking a leap of faith towards you, starting anew, backing up the energy of the page of cups, starting new, new love, charging towards you. Again, I said the final outcome has to jive well with the energy of the connection. It does. It jives perfectly. There's a fucking chariot right there. Somebody coming for some stability, something real. You. All right. I, I give you guys a lot of transparency in my readings. You know, I do a lot more than most people do. I give you, I'm, I show you everything. I show you the flow of energy. I show you why I get the, con and I do that because I really pull my soul out in these readings to try to give you accurate answers, accurate readings. And I want you to see it because I know you can't feel the energy or not here. You can't feel it the way I do and then translate it. But I want to try to show it to you. So that's why I do that. So that's your reading. I mean, that's pretty much it. I'm going to pull three cards from the universe. Watch the All Signs reading I plan, quote, air quote, plan to do tomorrow on Thursday for uh, Mars in your sign, Gemini. Okay? Keep an eye on it. This is tight. This is the best reading I've ever pulled for you. I think. Even better than that one that had like 15 major arcanas. <laughs> that was back in September of 2021. I remember. You have a very important connection. Why? I, I, I'll tell you why. Because you're saving this person's life. I can tell you the energy that I get for Gemini, somebody on the other side. That runner is trapped. Oh, they felt trapped for a long time. They're very unhappy, very miserable, very trapped in something that they don't want to be in. And they feel like they make excuses. That you know, this, is, this is saving them. This is The universe is helping them out. There's a lot of love they have for you. You're their wish, right? You're, they want to start anew, but this is, this is an indicator of, of how they see you, how they think about you. You know, you represent a lot of love here. I don't usually get this many love cards in these type of positions. And with an outcome of the fool, someone who backs up the page of cups, someone who wants to start anew, you know, and they are. They're getting the opportunity. The vast majority of them are breaking free here. I can't predict free will. Some of them might chicken out, but I'm saying the vast majority of them. There's every indication here that somebody's coming towards you. And that's what August and, and September to a degree are about. They're about that course correction. People seeing that they've been going down the wrong road and correcting. Getting back on the freeway. And it applies to you as well. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're paying attention to your course corrections. Right? Okay? Universe giving you signs too. Alright. Pulling three cards now. What else you want to tell Gemini before I go? Oh, shit. The very card. We're back. We're just going to finish up whatever was under here. Page of Cups is our overall energy. We talked about that. It's crossed by the Six of Wands. The heart chakra opening. Transformation within this person's heart. Nine so So we have that. And then we have nine swords and another fucking chariot. And, oh, chariot, chariot. And crossing the nine of, of swords right there in the middle is the strength card. Somebody is, again... If this fucking reading just keeps repeating itself. Somebody is this lion holding one of the roses from the Two of Cups in this deck. Somebody's getting past their fears, past their anxiety with the strength crossing the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is anxiety. Somebody getting past that because their heart is transformed here. They're breaking free of something. This is a victory after a long battle in, in, energy in the Minor Arcana. This is victory in the major arcana, and that's where it goes. It goes center, left, right. It's an upward flow. It's an upward flow here from seven pentacles to eight pentacles. Upward flow. Well, that's what we look for in tarot. We look for escalations. This person's coming in because they can. They're making some changes. And again, if your person isn't one of the people who does, maybe they're too much of a chicken shit, fine. It's, everything is cyclical. It'll come back around, but all of your people are seeing something that they missed before or refused to look at, probably refused to look at with the moon here, about the energies around them. And they don't like what they see. They're not sure. They're reassessing, as I said. Reassessing. And that's what's going on here. And it looks like it brings them right to you. And this, this reading just continually says the same thing over and over again. All done with the bullshit. Somebody making some changes, starting anew. Right here, the chariot. Somebody opens up. It's the sun in front of the moon. Chatty Cathy in front of Silent Bob. And that pentacle right there around his neck, by the way, not only does the chariot and the chariot tie with the energy of your connection, that pentacle is that pentacle right here. 
the King of Pentacles. This is like a combo card of Chariot, King of Pentacles. Okay? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. All right? It's powerful enough to freeze up my video in the beginning. <laughs> this is some shit. So pay attention to my Mars in Gemini reading for all signs. I'm probably going to do it tomorrow unless energy isn't there, in which case I'll wait. But, you know, I'm planning it for tomorrow on Thursday. That's your reading, Gemini. I hope this was helpful. All right? If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. All right. Good luck.